Hey, this is Sexy After Cichlids. What we're looking at is setting up the OB platform. Many of you who have peacock cichlids definitely have an OB peacock. This is maybe something you want to do, but if not, you'll be interested in how I'm going to set up my platform with minimal OBs to start out with. So let's check out this video. Now, most of you who have OB peacocks normally have uh, the OB peacocks in a mixed peacock cichlid aquarium like the one you see here. And that's just fine. That's wonderful. That's what I got going here, and I enjoy it tremendously. But what I'm wanting to do is breed different types of OB peacocks. People think about OB peacocks and they know that they're hybrids, but they've not seen all the different types that you can get from the OBs. Like the one you see in front of you, let me zoom in on the one of them here. This is a common OB peacock. Let me get it a little bit focused here. This is a common OB peacock. You see, actually, you see three of them there. This is what you normally see in the fish stores. Uh, and they're nice. They're, they're good looking. They're, they're, you know, they're really nice looking fish. But some of the more uncommon OB peacocks uh, you don't see as often. There's different color morphs, and there's actually a different type of OB peacock that you can get. Uh, now you have to notice the differences between this OB peacock, uh, the females that go with this OB peacock, and the different type of OB peacocks that you're available to purchase at most places that sell OBs. And what I'm saying is, there's a, like a different variety of OB peacocks. Now there's definitely many color morphs to OB peacocks, but the variety is something people do not pay attention to as much as far as making videos, talking about it, the discussions. So I'd like to start that out now. What I want on my OB peacock platform, as many color morphs as I can have, uh, also with different types and I'm going to show you the different types of uh, OB peacocks and another aquarium uh, just in the one second so let's transition to that aquarium here you see a normal what you consider a normal OB peacock female it's an older female it's probably around five years old now she may uh, gain size but she really hasn't gotten any bigger in the past several years I had had uh, other females that got larger but this is normally the bigger uh, size of a female and so that is one female peacock that you basically consider a normal type peacock now the one below the one right here at the cave uh, let me go back this peacock you see in the cave and just swim out Maybe if I can get a better view on the other side. Uh, going, facing the camera and assume the screen is the other type of OB peacock that's not as common as the one you saw previously. This is what you might want to consider a different variety of OB peacock. Uh, it's right up front underneath the male and that can give you a lot different looking OB peacock than the one you saw previously. The female there can get some really outstanding results uh, different looking males than you normally see in the fish stores. Now I'll do some more talking here about some other things and then we'll show you another uh, fish that is in this same variety that is holding that will launch my OB peacock platform. Now you see the female in the center of the screen that's the one that's basically a different variety of the OB peacock. And those you can definitely find in the fish stores, uh, but you just have to know what to look for. The males will look totally different than the ones you most, most commonly see in videos uh, and postings. So here's the male I'll be using for the launch, my OB platform. It's not the best male I've ever had, but it's the same genetics that I've had in the past. So I should have plenty of color morphs 
and probably some really outstanding fish uh, from the offspring so he will be a good start to start my platform now if you notice most of the OB peacock females in here are actually holding uh, I've changed the food to a color pellet uh, different food and within a few days most of the females in this aquarium are now holding so that is really exceptional now another uh, variety that I'm going to have of the OB peacocks if you've seen my other videos uh, is the Dragonite Peacock which is basically a Dragon Blood Peacock mixed with an OB Peacock and this female here you see here is the one that I'm going to be collecting babies from once she has her next back. She had one a batch a few days uh, about a couple of weeks ago and it'll be a few more weeks before she has another back but I'm looking forward to that when she does because they will be mixed with dragon blood and OB. How I plan to uh, raise my fry of my OB peacocks, how I'm going to uh, get the babies is basically I'm going to have the female in an aquarium by itself uh, release the fry and then take the female out of the aquarium and, and raise the fry in the aquarium that she released them in. Now, not everybody can do that, but I recently had the ability to uh, use some empty aquariums for this process. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I have a, I've had some great success over three or four batches that way. And that's how I'm going to do it for this OB Peacock, Peacock platform. I don't have to work or worry about a tumbler, uh, stripping the fish. I don't have to go through that process. The female just basically has a natural release and everything is good. The, fee the, the babies seem to be a little bit healthier that way and things do all really well. That's what we're going to go. We're going to show you that uh, fish right now. An aquarium that it's in now and uh, we'll show you the different variety of peacock the OB peacock than the common OB peacock female so let's go to that now here's another female that's a really basically a different variety of the OB peacock and she's holding and I have her in an aquarium by herself and she'll do a natural release and that's going to start off my OB platform from her offspring I'll have other females I'll be collecting from, and basically I'm going to have uh, at least one aquarium, maybe two uh, aquariums full of just OB peacocks, so I can really enjoy the different varieties that you can get, and different color morphs that you can get from the OB peacock. The OB peacock is something that's really, really exciting, because you don't know what the offspring is going to look like each time. Regardless of what type of peacocks you may have in, in your aquarium or what breeding plans you have to do in the future, to get to really the most enjoyment to see the variety, the color morphs, what can be possible in nature, the best and easiest way to do that is get a few, or maybe even a bunch of peacocks, and start breeding them and raise them up from the fry and wait till they get to the adult size or at least where they're starting to color up and look at all the great color morphs. There's not going to be any fish store that's going to have all the different color morphs at one time. So the best way to do this is get some, breed them, and you can really get some outstanding results. And you can put that on YouTube and really show everybody else what, you, what can come out of these OB peacocks. Go ahead and link down, you can put down some links down below of some of your, some of your favorite OB peacocks and we'll check them out I and mean, if they're really uh, outstanding we'll get them going in a playlist and share them with everybody in the world yes the mixed peacock aquarium is one of the more exciting aquariums to set up for peacocks but to have the different color morphs that you can get from your your ob peacocks the different varieties of ob peacocks out there you could have strictly an ob peacock with tons of color that you can enjoy just as well as a mixed peacock aquarium I really think if you start off with your little platform going, you can really have some fun and really show off what there is out there in the world of peacocks. So thanks again for watching. This has been Sexy African Cichlids.